and we got the whole day to play ball. Gosh, I'm sorry, Spooky, but I have a date with Wendy. Goyles, bah, the joy killers. <laughs> Wendy. Thanks, Hazel. Have fun. Hiya, Wendy. All set to go? Come on in, Casper. I'll be ready in a minute. What plays with coils is a square. Your chair, Miss Wendy. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, crap, this romance, but good. <laughs> I just can't understand it. <laughs> you take a dip, Casper, while I get lunch ready. Okay, I'll be back in a jiffy. for your collection.
shy killers. Catch black crow and chop off cocoa. Stew in pot just like chow mein. Slowly eat. Now goodbye pain. Mmm. That feline's got a bad toothache. That's all I has to know. Boss, boss! I have to soul living soul what knows the secret formula for curing that toothache. And boss, if I dies, the secret dies with me. Secret? Uh, what secret? The secret of freezing the nerve, boss. Freezing the nerve? Hmm. That sounds logical. Now just stick your head into that freezing unit. Yeah? Yeah? And now we refrigerate it. <laughs> Small fry. Strutting by the pool room. Oh, your new 
set of ivories. J. Caesar Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. And I know you're aching all over to meet our great new star. So, <laughs> ache a little longer. First, listen to how I discovered him. One year ago, at Blockbuster, I called in my producers and said, I want you to go out and find me a great new star. Search the world, spend a fortune, but bring back a star star to Blockbuster Pictures. For expenses, I gave them my Diners Club card and said, get rolling. Well, they really started rolling. They rolled and rolled. And still they rolled. With very little luck. Meanwhile, back at the studio, I knew you couldn't find a star. I just wanted to prove it. Now I'm going to show you how to find a star. For an old showman like me, it was duck soup. <laughs> Young lady, <laughs> you're exactly what I've been looking for. Nice legs, lovely eyes. Now, let me hear your voice. Please! It's all right, officer. I'm J.C. Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Eventually, I was identified and released. Six hours later, I was across the ocean. A Russian Rock Hudson. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm uh, J.C. Bandwagon, uh, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Razonik Hitna, Hollywood Big Shot, Stern Vuska, Blockbuster Pictures. Not capitalistic spy. Felicia! Through the intervention of the American Embassy, I was identified and released. Two days later, I was back in Hollywood. Aha! Another Jimmy Cagney. I waited for him to come out. <laughs> uh, just a minute. Uh, I'm uh, J.C. Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Oh, yeah? You look like a stool pigeon. You're J.C.'s a bandwagon. The head of Blockbuster Pictures. Really? Oh, I would have taken you for a pickle salesman. Do you know why? It's that hat. Don't listen to those who tell you that clothes make all the difference in a man. I say that instead, what goes on your head affects you more than clothing can. Now what makes me so gay and debonair? Your socks, or your gloves, your long and silky hair? Why, it's none of those that makes the people stare. Why, of course, it's this, the topper that you wear. Think of all the famous men of history, <laughs> and I think that you will soon agree with me. 
that their choice of hat is certainly the key to their well-developed personality. Think of Robin Hood, Napoleon, MacArthur, or of Zorro, Sherlock Holmes, or Davy Crockett. You can go on till tomorrow. Every one of them, I do declare, <laughs> chose his hat with the greatest of care. Oh, when you're wearing the right kind of hat, <laughs> no one looks at your tie or cravat. <laughs> No one gives a hoot about your style of suit If you're wearing the right kind of hat <laughs> When you put on the right kind of hat Well, no one cares if you're skinny or fat <laughs> Let me tell you this, you can never miss And your pockets will never be flat When you're wearing the right kind of hat Ooh, Just look what a hat can do Oh, thank heaven for Mimi and Louisa. Mr. Christian, you've made a fool out of me. What a kiss, that's the stroke. I got a million of them, I got a million of them. But, uh, but, uh, but however, there are never have I, have you, have he, but, uh, but however. Let me tell you this, you can never miss And your pockets will never be fat When you're wearing the right kind of hat I grabbed him and held tight A great talent like this wasn't going to get away Now, a great star must have a great name Howard Irving Melvin Harry Cat! Are you kidding? That's my mother-in-law's name. A Clark Abel. A great name. But no. Louie. Seymour. Eddie. Wait. Uh, get me names unlimited. Uh, $50,000 before we start thinking. I got you where 
sure I want to, wise Alex. Daddy-o, you really laid it on us. Like trap. Beat! <laughs> <laughs> 